let's see and bam what's up everybody so i'm still feeling on my attack on titan mode i'm still fiending for some attack on titan stuff so we have the top 10 most brutal kills from attack on titan i don't know if it's going to be the soldiers deaths or um them killing titans so without further ado let's jump in okay yeah i think it's going to be yeah They'll be guiding us through a rather sadistic tree today. The top ten. Ah, uh, to Titan me, kills. I think it would be better for it to be quick. We begin, we like if you get stepped day, on, because so sure like you don't see it coming. The, the worst for me would be like videos. if you get picked up, you, the Titan smiling Welcome at you, and then it eats you. Brutal attack on Titan kills. I'm Josh Greeley, the voice of Armin Arlert, and the narrator for the Attack on Titan English. Annie. <laughs> Join the I mean, Annie was so we smart as a Titan. That's even worse. Oh, that one sucked. She looks so mad, man. Number ten, Carla Yeager. Ah, his mom. We could ask for no better introduction to this cruel world than when the Titans broke yeah. the wall and flooded into the Shiganshin district, killing and eating everything they came across. That was, yeah, that was a really good opener. <laughs> you saw why they're so scared of the Titans. The heart-wrenching highlight was when Aaron's mother, whose legs were already crushed by the debris, ended up in the grasp of the smiling Titan, who then proceeded to snap her like a twig. Ah, uh, yeah, ah. Uh, ah, uh, man. Whew, yeah. <laughs> that, that was brutal. Such a traumatic event burns its way into Aaron's psyche. Driving him towards the Survey Corps in the hope of one day taking vengeance. In our hearts, we knew. Oh, that moment was really cool in Season 2, where he was so ready to fight the Smiling Titan, and his powers wouldn't activate. Well, Number nine, in the way that we usually saw his powers wouldn't activate. Oh, you just hear Edie. Possibly the scariest thing about Seriously. Titan, from their constant carnivorous urges, is their very yeah. While some tower over towns, some are kind of small. small. To slip into a house. In this case, the latter managed to find its way into a home, proceeding to slowly devour a mother while her daughter looks on. Yeah. The, the sound effects, ah. And then it just looks at her and she's not moving. While Sasha does her best to try and save them both, she's unable to kill it. As such, is forced to retreat with the ship. Oh, that sound effect, man. <laughs> that was rough. And then you're being eaten alive and you can't do anything. Annie, oh my, Annie went off on me. She was so smart. You have to feel sorry for the survey. Yeah. Even the most likable of side characters can still end up meeting an early grave. That nameless grunts might as well just be cannon fodder. <laughs> They're red shirts from Star Trek. <laughs> oh! And it, you didn't have to punt the man any. Come on! <laughs> Take these guys, for example. After getting our first glimpse of the female Titan, she proceeds to make a stellar impact by utterly wrecking our yes. without a care in the world. Oh! I, but I think that's what I would. If I'm going out, I think that's what you would prefer. If you don't see it coming. That, oh my. What does that do to the body? Number seven, Hannes' bloody atonement. Oh yeah, he tried. This drunken member of the He tried so hard. Season two was really good. Was the one who managed to save them in their youth, but deep down had always been without courage and conviction. Watch me! This is the least that I owe your mother. Super they always it always starts out so good. They they're like, I can do this. I'm so courageous. However, this all changes as he once again. Oh man! In an effort to save them from the same Titan that ripped apart Aaron's mother. Unfortunately, history ends up repeating itself. Yeah. As Hannes's heroics lead to him. 
Number six, oh, man. Marla and Isabel. We all know that Captain Levi is the series resident badass who yeah. pretty much killing Titan. Most deaf. But it wasn't always that way. Levi. <laughs> Levi's always so mellow. Levi and his group find themselves swarmed by Titan during a rainstorm. While Levi manages to survive the ordeal and go on to become the beast we all know and love. I don't think I saw that. He said for his colleagues. Wait, what's this? Amidst all the rain and carnage. Discovers that his old partners Farla and Isabel have been reduced to nothing more than mangled corpses. Dude, that Titan looks so scary. It's a visceral image. Did I see that? Mold Levi into what he is today. A prequel? I gotta, I gotta check that out. I don't think I saw that. This goes to show that even the most veteran members of the Survey Corps aren't invulnerable. Yeah, but I like that though. I like that it's not just like, oh, okay, they're they're experienced, they're safe. I like that, kind of like Game of Thrones, anybody can die. I like that. Killers in their own right, Nanaba and Gelger were tasked with investigating who among the group may be a possible ally to Annie Leonhardt, aka the female Titan. Mm -hmm. Things don't go as smoothly as planned when all of them are set upon by a swarm of Titans. And then if that happens, if your sword breaks. Gets the worst of or if we run out of gas. Oh. Well, at least you're knocked out. Wait, but I think he woke back up, though. Yeah. That's what I'm like. When you regress to your childhood state, I can see that. What do you do with that? <laughs> As an optimistic and lovable naive recruit, he seemed determined to join just for the purpose of trying to help people. Alas, following the Titan's second incursion, his body was found splattered across a wall. He's dead. Oh yeah. We assumed that some random Titan had just had its way with him, but the truth turned out to be far more disturbing. <laughs> Find out that his death was caused by betrayal of his own comrades. Mm -hmm. Good night, sweet prince. <laughs> Sorry, Marco. I don't even know which. Bro, that's who being in the scout squad, <laughs> man. That's a rough job. That is a rough job. Oh. She met the talking one, right? Yeah. Now this is just upsetting. While it is accidental, the research notes of this Survey Corps member ended up aiding Hanji Zoe with her investigation into the true nature of the Titans. So it's not like her death didn't mean anything. When I read that, I was like, what? But dude, for her to keep taking notes... Bro, that's like the best researcher in the history of research. Cornered by a titan that appears to have the capacity for speech, mm -hmm. Ilsei finds herself eventually trapped between its teeth, where it proceeds to slowly crush in her skull. Ah! Uh, and she kept taking notes! Dude, ah! Uh, uh, I think that might have been number one. A brutal death in such an mm. manner just adds a layer of primal fear to this monstrous race. Oh, uh, man, she, she's got to go down as the greatest researcher in the history of research. Number she has to. Special Operation Squad Slaughter. Female Titan's ability to summon reinforcements was unlike anything we've encountered before. Our failure to anticipate that factor cost us the operation. After joining this is a pretty good list, <laughs> but with the attack on Titan death, you always have a good list, but... Sometimes I disagree with top tens or the ordering of them, but so far this is this is pretty good. Oh my! Alas, even all their skills combined isn't enough to take down the female. 
is that cuz dude she's so good before proceedings of massacre them across the forest floor just when you thought the series couldn't find a way to break our hearts again it shatters them in a single hellish moment i guess that tree was petrified mhm mm she can harden herself I just feel so bad for them because they don't. Oh man, because they don't know. They have no research. Well, I mean, they're getting knowledge, but it's taking so long, and they always lose so many people to get the little knowledge that they get. Oh, I think this is the one I was talking about when he. Mm-hmm. That was so rude. The man threw his horse. That was so rude. The beast Titan's always throwing something. After getting his own horse thrown out. Seriously, who throws a horse? Yeah, and he didn't even. Oh man. Ah. Ripped to bloody ribbons while the beast Titan watches on in amusement. Echoes of Mikkei's agony. Oh, man. <laughs> this show. Do you agree with our uh, Yeah, I agree with that list. That, that was a good list. Sometimes I don't like lists because I feel like the outer road, that was good. That was really good. Who attack on Titan? Oh, man. <laughs> the show. That is a brutal show. Oh, but I love it. I love it. Whew. That was rough. <laughs>